Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and we're looking at air-to-air -air refueling. So you know what's going on. That's me there about uh, 10 to 20 miles in front of me. This chap here is a KC-135. He's going to be or orbiting, I believe, counterclockwise and refueling us today. So the first thing we have to do is navigate to him. Now the way we would navigate to this tanker, assuming that he had a TACAN station on board, would be to use the TACAN system and we would set it up as per his TACAN code. To find his TACAN code we would press left alt and B and it would be here within the mission briefing. Now we're not going to do that today, we've already got another video showing how to do TACAN and it's just a waste of time to show you that but that's how we would do it and we would navigate via the HS high here with TACAN mode turned on there. So I'm going to unpause now, I'm going to skip a few minutes and get to within visual of the tanker. Okay, we now have the tanker visual on our nose. The next thing we need to do is communicate with him and we would use our radio to do that. Now for this mission, to keep this video simple, I've turned easy communications on in the mission editor. So that means I don't have to use my radio properly to contact him. If you did not have that option turned on in the server that you were using or the game that you were using, then you would have to use your radio properly. And again, I've got a video of how to use the radios in this thing properly. Again, you'd need to know the radio frequency of the tanker. And again, left O and B and it would be in there. But for us in this case, we just need to press the communications menu and we're going to click on the tanker and I'm going to intend to refuel. Texaco, Springfield 1-1, one, one. request rejoin. Springfield 1-1, one, one. Texaco, proceed to pre-contact at 7,000. Okay, so he's told us his altitude and he's told us to get to pre-contact, so that's basically flying behind him, ready to accept the boom. Before we do that, if I just quickly show that if we unpause and we look on the F-10 map here and we click on him, if you've got the options enabled, then you can actually see his call sign. You can't see his frequency or his TACAM, but you can see that he's called Texaco here. That helps if you've got several different air-to-air -air refueling planes on the same map. Now, I'm not sure what speed he's doing, and, and I don't know any way of finding out, so I'm just going to have to get visual on him and judge his speed by eye. Okay, fast-forwarded. Caught him up now. It looks like I'm going too fast, so air brakes on. Feels like it's doing about 250. Power back on. And I will turn my controls on now so you can see my stick movement around here, my rudder movement there, and my, uh, my uh, power setting is there. Whoops. We need to now prepare the aircraft for air-to-air -air refueling. So we've got this guy here, which we're going to press. And you can see that we are now ready. We've got the air-to-air -air refueling indicator here you can see that we are now ready and when we start taking fuel and when we are full you will see the other markers illuminated so we're going to get right but right behind him regards advice at this point is just to make a smoother movements as you can with the stick and with the throttle so the throttle will always be moving i'll never stop moving the throttle at any point during this and the stick will also be ever so slightly moving will never stop and the movements want to be as small as possible the bigger movement we make the harder this is going to be and we can risk getting in pio pilot induced oscillation which is a very common thing for new pilots so although it looks like it he's not quite ready for us yet we just need to communicate with the, with him again so communication menu up and once we're a little bit closer we're going to ready pre-contact in the meantime i'm just sorting out my trim to get as neutral a trim as i can okay we're going to try ready pre-contact there ready pre-contact clear contact we've got clear contact so we are now ready to use the boom so what we need to do is essentially drive the nose of our plane into that boom. Once it's very close to it, then he will control it himself so that it sticks in our port, which is at the front of our nose. Once we're in there, I'll just explain now because it's going to be easier to explain now. Once we are connected, then this boom here has some travel. It has some play. It can travel in and it can travel out. And the name of the game is we want to keep the green section of the boom here exactly as it is now. As it pulls out further or as it pushes in further, then we'll go amber, then it'll go red. And once it's gone past red, then we'll damage the boom or we'll have to disconnect. Let's keep going. So let's just remember. Ooh, so, yep, I think we're close enough that he can detect us now. So he's going to try and point it at us. So we've just got to do him as much help as we can, just drive into the thing. Tiny movements, as you can see, rather than me explain the movements of the stick and the throttle, it's probably just best if you look at them on the left, bottom left. Okay, we're now connected to, connected to the boom. So the job now is to fly in formation with the carrier 
and keep laterally, vertically and distance wise as steady as we can. And we want to keep our boom in the green, like I said, and it's easier said than done, but you can see that we're latched on the right of the HUD. It says latched in our air to air refueling director. So that tells us we're taking fuel. Oh, I cocked it up, disconnected. And that's just how it goes sometimes. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm not full. And I'm not full yet. So we've still got to, we're going to have to give it another shot. I'm just going to reset that. And we want to get ready again. And there we go, we're ready again on our director. Whoops. And let's go in and try again. You can make him fly level, and it's a hell of a lot easier when he flies level, but I think we like the challenge. Another key thing is to make sure that your trim is set up nice and neutral before you do this. Otherwise, it just makes it a hell of a job if you're trying to fight against your trim. Uh, yes we are so last time I skewed right just too far so I'm just going to shut up this time and try and get it right it's really hard to talk at the same time Be that much longer. How long does it take? Nearly full. Disconnect. Going to turn our fuel gate closed, and that's us done. Etiquette is if there is more than one refueling. For instance, if you're part of a flight, if you're waiting to refuel, then you will hang out on the left wing of the tanker, slightly below. If you're refueling, then you're refueling. Once you've refueled, then you move into the right position and you hang on and wait on the right wing of the plane until your friends are done, and then you can all head off together. Right. I hope that helps, and see you.